hey guys welcome to my channel my name is tabita i'm the face behind t you don't regularly see my face on the channel so i have to put that out there okay so if this is your first time coming across my channel you're very welcome thank you for stopping by on this channel i post sewing tutorials pattern drafting any content that relates to the sewing niche that is what i put out here on my channel so if this is the kind of content you'll be looking for or you'd be interested in you definitely want to hit the subscribe button and also turn on your notification bell so you get notified when i post videos out there all right so today i am not posting a sewing tutorial as you can see instead i am here to help you give you my points and talk about how to grow a youtube channel how to start a youtube channel because that's like the mostly asked question a lot of you out there want to start youtube channels want to grow youtube channels want to earn from youtube but do not know how to go about it so i'm here to give you points that i feel are very helpful and if this is what you're interested in you definitely want to stick around all right so let's get right into the video so let's talk about starting a youtube channel all right when i wanted to start my youtube channel i did a lot of research i did a lot of studying i went on the youtube app itself watched a lot of videos that helped me navigate through starting the channel that taught me all i needed to know as in regards to starting a youtube channel what my channel was supposed to look like in terms of branding and the likes right so i just want to say this before i start that learning is supposed to be a culture once you're learning the more you're able to improve on yourself all right so let's get right into what we're supposed to be talking about today now if you're able to go to the youtube app watch a video like it and drop a comment you already have a youtube account okay but for the sole purpose of this video let's start from the very beginning let's take it from the scratch now to own a youtube account you need to download the youtube app first and you can either do that from the play store or app store depending on the phone that you're using now after downloading the app the next thing to do is to set up an account and you'll definitely be doing that using your email address i'm sure everybody has an email address now you've created the account you set it up what next to do if you're interested in earning from it you definitely want to verify that account you can't even do anything on the account if you've not verified it now how do you go about the verification process youtube would ask you to give them your phone number they send you a code i think you send it back to them just for them to verify that okay this belongs to you and stuff like that i can't remember the steps but yes, they will definitely ask for your phone number, they will send you a code and yeah. But the verification process, it doesn't last for anything more than five minutes. All right, as long as you have good network. Great. So now you've verified your account, you can go ahead to upload videos, you can go ahead to do live streams, upload shorts. You can do anything that a YouTube channel is supposed to do, right? But now there is another app that you need to download it is called youtube studio youtube studio is like the back end of youtube okay it's also a very important app that you need to have if you want to have a youtube channel all right so you can also download the youtube studio from your play store or your app store okay or you could also enter studio.youtube.com on your browser all right if you do not want to download the app but it's important that you download the app as well so now on the youtube studio that is where you can upload videos you can give your videos titles everything in general that relates to your youtube channel you get to see it on your youtube studio that's where you see your subscribers that join in I'm going to leave the icon of the YouTube studio on the screen so you know what I'm talking about and what the app looks like. I'm also going to leave various important tabs on the YouTube studio. So we have the analytics tab on the YouTube studio. That is where you get to see the performance of your channel. That is where you get to see the info of your audience and how they interact with your content that you put out there. That is where you get to see the general feedback 
on how every video is doing on your channel next we have the earn tab i hope you can see the icons that i'm leaving on the video the earn tab is an important part of the youtube studio for creators that are in the youtube partner program that is where you are able to track your eligibility that is where you are able to track your monetization settings that is where you're able to see how close you are to the very popular 4,000 watch hours. <laughs> All right. So now I've been able to tell you how to create the account, how to set up an account, the necessary apps that you need. Now, the next point that we'll be going to is finding a niche. Now, you'll hear a lot of people say it is very important that you find a niche before niche or niche i feel like they are both correct right one has to be british one has to be the american english so let's just stick with niche okay <laughs> so like i said earlier a lot of people when you go about doing your research and you want to start they are all about finding a niche finding a niche emphasis on finding a niche but in my opinion i'm going to tell you it is okay to have a category that you want to work with all right it is very very okay if you can't find something to place your focus on it is very okay to find a category that you can work with all right for me it is sewing all i do is centered around the sewing niche Okay, so it is easier. I already knew from the beginning that this is what I want to do. This is what I know how to do. So it is better I work with that. But if you're confused and you know how to do a whole lot of things, there is nothing wrong with doing all of them. When you're first starting, it is important that you test your hands with different terms. It is very okay. All right, if you know how to do hairstyling and you can also do makeup, you can go ahead and do a tutorial on how to style your hair in a certain way. You can go ahead and do a tutorial on how to do maybe a light makeup or a heavy makeup. And then just watch. Whichever one booms the most, whichever, whichever one attracts the most audience, go ahead and put your focus on that. But when starting, I would say that it is very okay to test your hands on different things if you know how to talk who says you can't do life lessons social topics it is very okay okay just just start the key word is start all right i'm sure with time you'll be able to make a decision to niche down on a particular area based on the feedback that you got from your audience all right so it is very okay for you to test your hands with different things like i said earlier you don't have to wait until you are certain that this is the particular niche you want to be focused on try different things that's why there are a lot of categories the sky is wide enough for everybody to fly so what's stopping you just start all right and like i said with time you'll be able to make a decision on where you want to niche down all right now, the next point that we'll be going to is making of the content. Now you've created your account, you've set it up, you've verified the account, you've finally found a niche or you've decided to do as many things as possible until you're able to make a decision to niche down. Now let's move on to the making of the content. Let's use my niche, for example, which is the sewing niche. To be able to make any sewing tutorial video, the first thing you need to know is that you need your materials on ground first. And when I say materials, what do I mean? You definitely need a sewing machine, okay? You cannot use your needle and thread to make um, certain styles that you would want to post on the channel, alright, for your audience to learn from. So you need a sewing machine. Nobody is saying you have to get an expensive one. Quite all right, sewing machines are really expensive these days. But who says they aren't affordable ones? You don't even have to buy a new one. There are used ones that are still functioning very, very well and are quite affordable. So you can start with that. You don't even have to get a big one. You can start with those small tabletop machines and 
with time you're able to save up and then expand so you get a sewing machine you definitely need a tape rule you know that because you'll be needing to you know take measurements before you can cut and make an outfit for a person or yourself you need a a scissors you need a pattern paper because most times there are certain fabrics that you would be working with and you find out that the fabric and your tailor's chalk the colors are contrasting the, the your viewers are not able to see what you're marking out on the fabric clearly so that is why you need a pattern paper for the most part you'll be needing pattern curves not that you need the entire set most importantly you need a ruler and the other uh, master pattern curve where you can the one that can enable you draw out armhole curves hip curve and all of that you don't need to buy the entire set right another thing you'll be needing as a content creator in the sewing niche is a table but it is not that important you can still place your fabric on the floor go ahead and chalk the required measurements and proceed to cut as long as your viewers are getting the desired knowledge your video quality is great nobody really cares if you are using a table they might not even notice that you are cutting on the floor depending on the angle right so you just need the basic things to be able to start making your content so like i've listed these are the basics needed for making of content in the sewing niche all right for every other niche i think there are also basic materials needed before you can start making content and for some it's just for you to look pretty and sit in front of your camera and do what you need to do okay so i just decided to use my niche as an example in case there is anybody watching out there that would also want to come into the sewing niche so let your excuse not be that i don't have this i don't have that you'll just be wasting more time if you're waiting until you're able to acquire a room full of all the required equipment that you feel you need you just be wasting more time all right all you need to do is start don't wait until you're ready just start emphasis on just start so the next point we'll be moving on to is gadgets and setup it is almost like a sub point under the point making of content because it's they all work hand in hand now for the gadgets you don't have to wait until you have a camera you don't have to wait until you have a ring light until you have a led light and all of those fancy fancy stuffs fine they make your video quality great they bring out the best angles like it just makes everything really nice and easy sweet yes but if you cannot afford it now why not start with what you have most phones these days have great camera quality talk about samsung talk about the iphone even the latest release of techno these days is great the camera quality is great so you can you can always start with your phone camera all my videos that i do from the beginning of this channel has been with my phone camera I don't even have a ring light i just use the natural light i make sure that my phone is centered in a way that i'm getting the right angles and all of that stuff so you don't have to wait till you have all those big gadgets you don't have to wait till you have a room full of great lighting set up before you start don't wait until you are ready just start now another point that we'll be moving on to is editing so I was on here a few days ago, I was speaking to someone and he was complaining about how he had so many ideas in his head, how he had so many videos, contents that he wanted to put out there, which takes me back now to under finding a niche where I talked about it being very okay for you to test your hands with different things, where you it is very okay for you to find a category to work with so now he did not have a particular or rather he didn't have an idea of what particular niche he wanted to focus on he just knew that he had so many content ideas in his head which he wanted to put out there and i told him that it was very okay put them out there and whichever one brings you 
the most views the most likes the most engagement then you know that okay this is what your audience wants from you this is the best they feel you've delivered then you can now niche down on that aspect okay he also went on to say how editing was a problem for him how he wanted to find someone that could be doing his editing while he does the recording which is not a bad idea but i would say that you might also have to try your hands at editing it can be a lot in fact it is a whole lot it is stressful especially if after editing you still have to do voiceovers it can be a whole lot you can spend days on it three days four days in fact a week if you have so much to do right but it is okay to try your hands at it because if the person that is going to edit for you is not there when you are recording there is going to be a lot of mix-up all right i don't know if you get what i mean but yeah that's it my advice is that you should try learning there are a lot of um short courses short tutorials online that show you how to learn how to edit using various apps some are free some i think you have to pay for it you can just try at least go for the ones that are free if you come on youtube as well you'd also see video tutorials that shows you how to learn to edit your videos right and i would recommend using CapCut for someone who is just getting into this editing world CapCut is really a great app for beginners for people that are learning how to edit it is so easy once you get on the app you'll be able to even navigate you, you know you can just make a random video download the app and just use it to play around and with time you'd find out that okay you know what to do you know how to cut this part off you know how to put this part you know how to animate some things you know how to you know add effects here and there which is why i said in the beginning that learning is supposed to be a culture you cannot know everything at once right so the more you learn the more you improve yourself another app i'm going to recommend for a youtuber is the canva app you'd have to get familiar with canva it is a great app i use it as well i use it for editing my thumbnails you can use it for editing any template of your choice it is a very great app i think if you don't know how to use it there are tutorials online that show how to use the canva app so also the CapCut app all right i think there are other editing apps if i can remember any i would place the icon or list them out on the screen all right but for now i feel like these two are beginners friendly one more thing i'm going to add is make sure that you are doing all you can to get the best now it's safe to say that you can go ahead and start posting you can upload videos now you can do live streams you know that it is very important that your thumbnails are quite catchy for your videos to be clicked on and i said earlier that you can upload your videos through youtube studio now the next point i'll be talking on is consistency slash publicity i'm going to make them go hand in hand yes i don't want it to be separate so that this video is not so long because i've discovered that most people's attention span these days is very low so i'm going to put it together the next point is going to be consistency and publicity so now you've posted your first video the next thing you want to do is to share your links to your friends and family because at this beginning stage nobody knows you on youtube yeah so you need to give out your links to your family and friends drop it on your whatsapp status if you're good on tiktok drop the link there just spread the link everywhere make sure that every time anybody that knows you sleep and wake up the first thing they see is your youtube link right <laughs> that is where publicity comes in and to be honest in the very beginning yeah even your friends and family may not be the audience that you are looking for some of them may not even watch some of them may not subscribe maybe up until you you blow as nigerians will say until i blow right so but just keep it keep sending it to them keep sharing it 
that is the little publicity that you can do and as you're sharing it be consistent as well keep posting videos do not be discouraged because in the very beginning you can post a video and even after a week two weeks three weeks it probably has just three views and that three views might even be from you watching and re-watching your video right or maybe you forced one of your family member or you stylishly took their phone and watched the video by yourself you get what i'm saying it can be really crazy in the beginning stage but i promise you don't be discouraged it happens to everybody it have nobody that you've seen now there is no content creator on this youtube app that you see that started from 100 in the very beginning everybody started from zero then we went to 10 and then you know with time we just kept growing but the key word is consistency. You just have to be consistent. Do not be discouraged if you post a video and it doesn't have that much views, it doesn't have that much likes as we imagined before you posted it. Fine, it can be really frustrating because to be honest, you already know the time, the work, the energy that you put into creating that video before publishing it. Yeah, and then you wake up and you see that it's not attracting any views nobody no audience nothing it's just there sitting pretty in your channel right it can be discouraging but please do not allow it to get to you because in every niche there are a lot of creators and not just creators or there are a lot of big creators on there all right i'm talking creators with thousands of subscribers million views obviously at your beginning stage you cannot think that you'd be able to compete with them right but you just have to be consistent so do not care about the views do not care about the likes in the very beginning because it is not going to be encouraging at all and another thing when it comes to publicity make sure that your thumbnail for each video that you want to put out there is very catchy and attractive so for consistency i'm just going to say that as long as you keep creating videos you can never remain stagnant as long as you keep putting in the work you can never remain stagnant instead you keep growing and growing it's an evolving thing you keep growing and growing your videos become better your talking become better your everything your lighting everything becomes better do not give up on the now process i promise you it is not an easy one it is not a beautiful one but do not despise your young beginnings all right trust the process and trust god as well commit everything that you do into the hands of god and i promise you it is going to be a smooth journey so it's safe to say that it is okay to start where you are start with what you have all right do not wait until you are ready just hit on the start button okay because if you keep waiting until you are ready who knows you might just be waiting till eternity and still not feel that you are ready to start be consistent let your creative juices flow if it's three people that you are able to reach out to be grateful for that and trust me with your consistency the number will keep growing i really cannot emphasize on consistency consistency is really key and i'm sure you all know that like every content creator out there has been saying this for years so it won't start now do your very best be consistent at what you do keep pushing keep pushing trust the process and with time everything will fall into place so this brings me to the end of this video and i want you to know that all i've said is not to scare anyone it's not to push you away it's not to stop you from starting the youtube channel i'm just letting you know that it is not an easy but also an easy route to follow so I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope this video was able to answer all your questions regarding wanting to start a YouTube channel. If there is any other thing you would want me to answer to, you can leave them in the comment section and I will make a video about it. If there are questions regarding what I have said as well, you can also leave them in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to reply. Thank you so much for watching this far. Thank you so much for engaging my channel to all my subscribers and my viewers. 
thank you guys so much thank you for supporting me from day one till now and i know that you'll keep supporting me because i need you to keep supporting me thank you so much for the support it is not taken for granted please do not forget to like share comment and subscribe also turn on your notification bell so you get notified when i post videos like this all right this is goodbye from me see you in my next video